Hi there. I cannot believe where I'm standing. I've crossed over the Irish Sea and you join me in Dublin. I'm at Dublin Colony Station. This has been on my bucket list for a very, very, very long time. But today's video is going to ride the railways in Ireland. I'm going to be riding the Dublin Area Rapid Transport System known as the DART. And we're going to Greystones, calling all stations en route between Dublin Colony and Greystones. Dublin Colony Station is absolutely impressive. It was built on the 29th of November 1844 and we shall be leaving Dublin Colony to head to our first station, Tara Street, which I'm ready to ride the Ear Road Aaron, my first dart service to Tara Street. And we're actually going across the Liffey to get to this station as well. So the train that I rode on wasn't a dart service, it was actually more of a commuter service by those 29,000 diesel multiple units. And unfortunately they were built by CAF. Can't get away from CAF these days, can you? But anyway, the first station I'm stopping off at today is Tara Street. And if your name's Tara, this station is definitely right up your street. Also one good thing about Tara Street is I do like this artwork that is right behind me. The artwork that I'll show you right now is absolutely impressive. So it's now time to talk about Tara Street and this railway line. Tara Street opened on the 1st of May 1891 and this railway line was actually built towards the end of the 19th century connecting two railway stations, part of the Loop Line. Dublin Colony, which is the station we were previously at, which goes over the Liffey, and it also goes over the loophole bridge and that loophole bridge is absolutely stunning to be honest. And it goes to our next railway station that I shall be visiting, Dublin Pierce. So I'm waiting for a train now and let's go to Dublin Pierce station. So unfortunately I haven't rode on a dart service yet. I've actually rode on another CAF train, those 29,000 class. But it has took me to this railway station, which is absolutely impressive. This is Dublin Pierce Station. Like I said, this station is just absolutely impressive to look at.
I'm now going to talk about the history of Dublin Pier Station. This is one of the early stations in Dublin. Opened on the 17th December 1834 by the Dublin and Kingstown Railway. When it was opened though, it was actually named Westland Street. It wasn't until 1966 it was renamed to its current name, Dublin PS. So as much as I like to be at this railway station all day because it's just absolutely impressive I got to move on and the next train I shall be catching will take me to Grand Canal Dock and hopefully this time it should be a dart service not a commuter service. So I have now made it to the next station, this is Grand Canal Dock and I wonder why it's called Grand Canal Dock. I'll just show you over there to be honest. That's right, there's a lot of narrow boats right behind me. That is Grand Canal Dock and it's absolutely stunning to be honest. But this railway station does have three platforms. Platform 2 is mainly used for, for suburban services which terminate here, while platforms 1 and 3 are used for the dart services. So let's talk about Grand Canal Dock Station. There's not really much to say about this station. It opened on the 23rd of January 2001. And I shall be leaving Grand Canal Dock Station to head to the next station down the line, Lansdowne Road. So I have now moved on to the next railway station, this is Lansdowne Road and you'll recognise this station from a Jago Hazard video when he visited Lansdowne Road. He was the YouTube creator to that video on YouTube. But honestly though, this is absolutely a nice station, it's got a lovely disused single box, it's got a level crossing, I do love a level crossing, but also right next door is the Aviva Stadium and it's a massive stadium for sporting events and concerts as well. So let's talk about Lansdowne Road Station. It opened on the 1st of July 1870 and we shall be leaving Lansdowne Road Station to the next station, Sandy Mount. And to be honest, you can actually see Sandy Mount Station from Lansdowne Road Station. I could walk if I wanted to, but I shall get the train to the next station. So I have now made it to the next railway station and it's a very short distance to be honest from Lansdowne Road Station. This is Sandy Mount Station and honestly you can see Lansdowne Road Station from Sandy Mount Station. This station does look modern, it's got modern station buildings but it's also got a lovely level crossing here as well. So 
So I'm going to do a bit of history about Sandy Mount Station, but it was opened in 1835 as Sandy Mount Holt. But the station did close in 1901. It reopened in 1928, but closed in 1960, and finally reopened in 1984. So I'm now going to move on to the next station, Sydney Parade. Now Sydney Parade will be the final station this video of today. So I'm going to hop on the next start service and let's head to Sydney Parade. So I have now made it to the next station. This is Sydney Parade. And honestly, it looks like it's in a well built up area, very nice area. But I have heard rumors that beyond Sydney Parade, the views do get a whole lot better. But this station does have a lovely signal box here. And it's also got a level crossing as well. So Sydney Parade Station was also another station that opened up in 1835 as a halt. However, though, in 1852, the station was actually upgraded from a halt to a mainline station. The station did close in 1960, but did reopen in 1972. Also, the station building here at Sydney Parade is a very lovely station building. It looks like a cottage, to be honest. It looks like somebody's cottage, but that's actually where the ticket gate line is. So for a first time experience riding the railways in Ireland, it has really been wonderful. Travelling out of Dublin, and Dublin is a nice city by the way, towards Sydney Parade has really been wonderful visiting the six railway stations en route. But as I mentioned, I have heard rumours that the views beyond Sydney Parade are much better. I am looking forward to seeing these views as I head towards Greystones. But for now, I'm going to pop a video right here. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trace. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you for some more Irish content pretty soon.